doing today is we're going to have a look at the next step after taking a full breath. Some of you uh, would have felt the stretch just on taking the full breath, getting the full lungs uh, right up into the top there. Some of you already will have been feeling the stretch and this is not unusual because uh, you're usually doing something at this point in time that you haven't done before and uh, uh, completely okay to feel the stretch and you know it's okay that it feels uncomfortable and it's, you know you might be in the pool and you have this it feels a bit uncomfortable at first but the amount of times you do that the more relaxed that's going to become and the more stretched you are especially once you start taking that full breath and then going through your strokes and your turns and things like that you'll find that your body will automatically stretch to encompass that, which means two things. One, you will get comfortable. Second one, you will be able to take more air as you get a bit more stretched. However, rather than just leave that as it is and let it take its own course, we're going to sort of boost that up and we do this by causatively stretching the area. Now, when you want to increase the, the lung capacity, you're not really changing the genetics or of, the, of the body. But what you're doing is you're actually getting it flexible, more flexible, and more. And by doing that, you know, um, you can increase the usable amount of air that you can take. For example, if you've uh, worked out so you can breathe out a bit further and a bit further each time, so you're reducing your residual volume, uh, and then you're working out how to get a slightly bigger, slightly breath. Well, you're now moved into the area where you've got a, a, a bigger working capacity. Okay, but we're not looking at the, uh, the negative side at the moment of reducing your residual volume. We're going to look at uh, f just further stretching to get, uh, you know, this area nice and stretched. And this is the basic level. This is not uh, advanced. And some of you may have even done this uh, in the uh, Bull Sharks training when we do our little mini uh, workshops. But in this case, the important thing is you start doing this. Now, I'm going to show you two levels of this stretch, the stretching exercise. And the first level, first of all, you get your full breath. The first level of this stretching you do uh, is what would you call it? The undercut. And that is just getting the stretch going. Don't jump into it and go full on and go straight, if you haven't, you're not used to it, and go straight into the second level. Work for some weeks, at least a month. Work in this first level before you move on to the second level. You know, you've got to actually get in tune with your body. The point being is that, that uh, some people are more flexible than others. If you work it right, it all ends up in a much similar round. You know, you've just got to bring it up at your level. So it's no good of sort of trying to jump cue or comparing yourself to others or something like that. You've got to start having a look at where your body is at and how to advance it. Okay, so this is a, uh, a stretching exercise and it um, depends on you first being able to take a full breath. And now I'm going to go through the, f uh, the whole exercise and then I'll just uh, go over a couple of points to it. Okay, so it starts off with the full breath. Okay, there is a warning here, and that is some of you will get dizzy. It's not everyone, and it's not really an important point. Things will, as I said, even out as you, as you go on. But probably the first time you do that, it might be good to either do it in a sitting or a kneeling position with a beanbag or something like that. So, um, uh, but it's, uh, you know, and, and make sure that you're not going to get dizzy and fall over, okay? 
All right, so let's have a look at that exercise I did. And all you're doing is you're stretching in four different directions. Now we could go eight or six or eight or whatever, different. you could go sideways and things like that, but we've just broken it down to four directions. Okay, so you've taken your full breath and you've filled this whole area, this area here, here, and right up here. So you're fairly strict. And then you slide your arm down there, just stretching this area here. Okay, it's never a violent or a hard action. It's just down until you feel the stretch. Just hold it for a bit and then bring it back up. Okay, and relax your shoulders down. And then you do the next side like that. Same thing, just getting the stretch here. Just feeling it stretch. Don't force it, just feel it. Okay, back up. Now, the next one is you're going forward. Now, it's not bending at the waist. It's, you're stretching this area, but it's on the back that you're stretching. So you just stretching here okay now you've got to watch out with this one because if you were to go whack like that you can actually uh put your spine out there if you're prone to that or a, a long period of doing that could give you a little bit of uh, trouble in your spine there so once again it's just you've got your back stretched here and you're just going over and stretching you're after what are you after what are you stretching you're stretching the cartilages even between the bones okay just getting out a bit more at a time you know so it's not something that's going to happen overnight it's going to happen gradually as you bit by bit stretching so that's going forward when you're going back same thing it's not sort of sticking your guts out or something like that you're actually stretching this area here so you'll probably bring your ch good idea is to bring your chest up towards the roof here you know, rather than sort of uh, hips forward and go over backwards you know right. so so now you're stretching this area here okay now it's simpler that you do it with a full breath you do the four uh, northeast south and west and then, uh, and then uh, breathe out and relax. Okay, that is the full exercise of the, the first gradient. Okay, I don't expect you to do the second gradient for some weeks. Get used to that. There is some stretching that has to go on because the next gradient is exactly the same exercise, but now in streamlined position. Now, probably it's not such a big deal if you're only there for... Uh, um, spearfishing purposes because you're not going to be using the streamlined position while you're spearfishing. However, even here and doing this exercise is going to create more stretch. So it's, it's still going to do you good moving into this exercise. Okay, we've got another whole video coming about assuming the streamlined position. Um, however, in this case, we'll just do it here. It's like boom, okay, into the streamlined position. And it's the same thing. You go lift, same thing, no, push it too hard or bounce. Back up to the center, you know, to your other side, back up to the center. And when you're going forward again, it's this, as if you're doing your rounding section on your, on your, on your swim, you're rolling there, just there, it doesn't have to go down very far, getting the stretch. Back up to straight, and then here, just stretch. Then you're gonna find, you know, you're, you're gonna run into your little areas here that aren't, fully stretched yet. So that's what you're after. You're after doing that. But remember, this is the second one, and this is the one you do after you've done some weeks of doing the first exercise. Okay, stretching is never bouncing. Stretching is a slow, even type of movement. Uh, get your breath under control. Make sure you're, you're not going dizzy on it, and if you are, just take a smaller breath. Okay, and do the same exercises and then build up. It's not important. You will get there uh, in your own time. Okay, and uh, uh, you're going to end up with an increased lung size. Actually, I won't say lung size, oh, increased ability to, to take on air. You will get more capacity. Why? Because you're just getting it stretched out and more usable. Okay, and that's what we're really after here. Okay, see you underwater. Thank you.